I'm sure just about any Disney fan would recognize this young lady here. This is, of course, Annette, one of Walt Disney's most famous, most beloved stars. She was cast on the original Mickey Mouse Club TV series, which premiered in 1955. Of the original 24 Mouseketeers, she was the last cast and the only one personally discovered by Walt Disney when he saw her dance recital right here in Burbank. So uh, she instantly became the most popular of all the Mouseketeers. And here on Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club magazine, we see her with Spin and Marty. And um, that was very popular the first season, so of course it was continued into the second season. And Nett was not originally part of it, but of course she was added. So uh, she kind of literally here came between Spin and Marty as they uh, sort of had a rivalry for her affections. But at any rate, we can see here uh, how uh, popular she was, um, often on the cover of this magazine. But she was on a lot of merchandise, coloring books, sticker books, all kinds of toys, uh, paper dolls. And based on her popularity on the Mickey Mouse Club and a song she sang in the Annette serial, she became a recording star. So right into the 60s, she, she was a, a big Disney star, probably even more popular in the 60s than she was when she was on the Mickey Mouse Club in the 1950s. And that brings us to the longtime Disney licensee, Western Publishing, which produced most of the merchandise I was just referring to. And they also published hardcover books under their Whitman imprint. And these were referred to as juvenile fiction or what they called uh, fiction for boys and girls. And a lot of what they published in the form of those books were called authorized editions. These authorized editions used the characters from movies or TV shows in new adventures written especially for these uh, hardcover books. So we had Leave it to Beaver, The Waltons, The Mod Squad, Dragnet, and even Combat. So you could see there was a wide variety in the 50s the 60s into the 70s of these authorized editions. And of course, being a Disney licensee, they had Disney titles as well, such as The Sword in the Stone, Mary Poppins, and The Misadventures of Merlin Jones. And there's Annette again with Tommy Kirk. Here she is on the back. And that brings us back to Annette. But first, more background before we get back to Annette. Because in addition to the authorized editions, Whitman had their own lines of fictional characters uh, that they dealt with. So there was, for instance, Ginny Gordon, here with the Lending Library. And there was the Diamond Cave Mystery, what they called Adventures for Boys. Of course, these were for boys or girls in this line that they called Boys and Girls Fiction. But at any rate, what they were trying to do, another example, Trudy Phillips, what they were often trying to do was create um, competitors for the famous Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew mysteries. So that's where Annette came in because she was the star of five books where she was sort of like a Nancy Drew, solving mysteries and having all kinds of adventures. The first of the Annette books were published in 1960, and there were five of them all together. So this brings us to something very clever that Disney Press did in uh, 2003. They reissued these books starring Annette in this really cool um, slipcover. And in fact, it says right here, the Annette Mysteries four swell stories in one super slipcase. Here's this wonderful uh, silhouette of Annette, um, which kind of looks like it was from her Mickey Mouse Club days, 
I wonder if this silhouette was from the Silhouette Shop on Main Street USA at Disneyland. But at any rate, I'll read you what it says on the back. Four spine-tingling stories. Annette Funicello, America's Girl Next Door, stars in four marvelous mysteries originally published in the 1960s. This neato collection features Super Sleuth Annette. Complete with vintage artwork, these books are one swinging blast from the past. So very clever and wonderfully packaged. Now remember I said that there were five Annette books. Uh, they only have four of them in this set. I suppose um, it's all based on size and, and uh, volume and such and, uh, you know, price points. But at any rate, um, certainly there, there are four wonderful ones here. We're going to take a look at them in their reprinted form. The first one we have here is Annette Sierra Summer. And this was the first published in 1960. Now, an interesting thing about this is, is that uh, this is apparently Annette from the Annette serial that was on the Mickey Mouse Club because she has Uncle Archie and Aunt Lila who are like her uh, guardians, her adopted parents, and that those characters were from the Annette serial. But everything else is new. She has new friends, there's new characters, and we have some of these wonderful illustrations. as well as this beautiful cover. And of course, as I mentioned before, and as you saw, the Whitman books were all hardcovers. These were published as paperbacks, but that's just fine. They're, they're really wonderful. And each one of the Annette books, except for the fifth one, which is not here, were uh, written by Doris Schroeder. And she wrote a, a good number of the Whitman books, not just the Annette series, but she also wrote, for example, Patty Duke and Mystery Mansion. This is another example of the non-Disney authorized editions based on the Patty Duke show. So Doris Schroeder was quite a prolific author. The second Annette book is Annette and the Desert in Mystery. Sounds quite intriguing, doesn't it? And again, we have these wonderfully written uh, stories with lots of illustrations throughout. They were extremely well written anyone that I've ever writ read in the whole Whitman series, sometimes better than the Nancy Drew or uh, Hardy Boys books in terms of quality of the writing. But mostly they're lots of fun and that's the most important thing. The next Annette book to be published was Annette and the Mystery at Moonstone Bay from 1962. So they were basically doing one a year. And it's very interesting because here it's all about riding horses. This is the same time that Annette was appearing in The Horse Masters on television on the Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color TV show. So perhaps that's where they got the idea for this setting. But as always, along with the good writing and the nice illustrations, the most important thing was Annette. She is the star. 1963 brought Annette and the Mystery at Smuggler's Cove. Another wonderful cover, and lots more adventures inside. Then, as I mentioned, there was a fifth book, and that was published in 1964, and that was called Mystery at Medicine Wheel. So it's interesting that uh, in the 1960s, Annette had gone beyond uh, her origins on the Mickey Mouse Club. She was a big recording star. She was starting to appear um, not only in Walt Disney movies, but in the um, American International Pictures, non-Disney movies, such as Beach Blanket Bingo. So these books kind of coincided with her rise uh, to even greater stardom, and maybe even had something to do with it, um, fostering an audience, certainly publicizing her, and reminding everyone what a great Disney star she is. So there's just a brief glimpse at some of the Whitman authorized editions, especially the ones that star Annette and that were republished in this great set from Disney Press in 2003. So please remember to like and subscribe and join us next time when we'll have the Peace Through Dramatization players and they'll be here with one of their most famous skits, 
a world without taxes. See you then.